Welcome back, Epic. Epic fans of this channel, and welcome new subscribers. I call your names out, but I look like you subscribed anonymously, which I'm totally, totally okay with. But yeah, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below if you would like that shout out. Um, oh dang, freaking Strange is so cheap to upgrade, and, and America Chavez, both very good cards. And Angelus is top tier. Uh, I need to look to see what, what what I can afford to upgrade. Um, dude, this Juggernaut is so cool, though. Um, and the Digital Sentinel actually is kind of epic as well. Although, just raw. I'm a hardcore mutant fan, so I just have a... Just disgust for Sentinels, but I do like their freaking char character design. It's very interesting. Um, and they're mostly those strange colors like this for um, contrast on the art, art line. Um... Just so from a distance you can tell like what tons of sentinels are if there's a sentinel in distance in the scene or who's who. Um Who's about to upgrade is the question. This is isn't the most thrilling start, pretty typical for these videos. <laughs> but unfortunately that's how economies work in this game. I have to check when they're going to upgrade to see if I have the um, credits up here to do it. Because I want to prioritize my mutants. Ooh, Jubilee is actually near. Yeah, she's near, but she's not going to cost much. Oh, he's about to hit. So that's 800. Oh, he's about to hit too. That's 1,000. Ugh. That'd be risky, although I am getting score for playing, so I believe I can upgrade... Pop? Probably both of them? I don't think I can do Angela. Um, does it gain me anything? Let's see if it gains me anything. It, it does indeed gain me something. Okay, so we're totally doing it. So that just could give me Psylocke, but my deck needs. <laughs> I really hope I can get... I can't believe the game glitched like that. Oh shoot, I need to check, actually. Did they answer my freaking inquiry? Let me check real quick. I'm checking right now. <laughs> For you guys, I wanted to check it beforehand, but I had a pretty chaotic day. Um, with the whole uh, unfortunate circumstance of my hard drive filling up. But that was just because I was under the weather. I couldn't clear it out properly. Um... G.O.D. is giving away some free stuff. <laughs> we'll just say that. I'm playing on Steam, though. Um, just see if you guys... I'm not seeing any answer to that inquiry. I'm going to have to actually log in and go to their... Would it remember me? They may not have processed it yet. Or it went into junk mail. There you go. Well, that holds up I'll just do this too. 3D. I'm not seeing really anything on it. Um, I can check Twitter as well, maybe they answered there. Although I hardly ever use Twitter, but it's useful for talking to companies. And it lets other people know my the, the issue, which that was a game breaking issue, so I kinda had to mention that. Um Usogi from Girls on Ha <laughs> Definitely retweeting that. She made, she so far has the best outfit from that, although it's too extra, but she needs to zip up her jacket. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is hilarious. Notifications? I have no notifications. Yeah, I don't think they, they, I don't think they've contacted me. So let's see, maybe it actually happened super quick and it was yesterday. No, I don't think they counted, but I'm not going to waste any more time on that. Uh, that. Thanks for putting up with that, and let's keep going. Let's see what we got here. Come on, X-Men. Or actually, I should say, X-Gene related thing. I got Mabaku. Okay, Mabaku's super cool. If this is in your deck at the end of the game, it jumps to a random location. Unlikely to happen, but he's a really cool character. A little borderline, you know what, but... I'll, wait, I, th I think I can say stereotypical on this. Yeah, he's a bit stereotypical of a character. 
Um, maybe more than that, but I can't really say more than that. But uh, how they did in the MCU seemed pretty awesome. Also, is he not part of um, uh, the other ape guys one? I don't want to say the rest. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> oh, Gorilla. Yeah, I thought he was part of the... Uh... Oh, man, even that's messed up, though. The, the names of some of the uh, Black Panther guys are a little... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say anymore. But I think they renamed him to his actual name, not his title. Because I think both of those are the same characters in Baku. Or however you say that, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but anyway, let's just start get going. I fully wasted like my typical, yep, five minutes of doing nothing. Pretty typical here. <laughs> hey, this is, this is for that deep analysis. Also, I had to check in on that to see if they were making that right. I'm going to win a location with four cars. Oh, the second's not great. The play on reveal, ease peas. Um, the second's like 75% on reveal. Um, five cost cards, win a location with 20 more power, so... That probably has to be a significant thing. Play six cost cards, play six cost cards, play three cost cards, play one cost cards. Wait, this is looking good! This might be a quick day, that's exactly what I need for the other game's dailies. And we are in Iron 17, let's go. Because it reset, me back to Iron. And you're like, what, you haven't climbed out of that yet? No, because it only plays to the daily, to what I show you. Because that's how I do this. Speak of M'Baku, there's his picture right there. Hopefully I said that right. Woo-hoo-hoo! That is a good get when you have some uh, one-stars in there. But he also got that. Oh, he got it to a Squirrel Girl. That's pretty solid as well. That's a lot of value out of Squirrel Girl. Always lucky. There's a guess one can't be played here. <laughs> oh, and it's the same day as before. That's why I'm playing in the Unknown. It's the same one as before. So it's very powerful to actually win that zone. Because it gives your enemy a zero rock. Now, they could eat that with Carnage. But, um, most of the time it's going to freak him over. And he might eat that with Carnage as he just used a Deadpool. Wow, Deadpool being buffed is super good. Ongoing effects are doubled here. I don't think he really has an ongoing deck. Oh yeah, I need a win with four cards, so I may need to just focus in the same zone. Oh, but dang it, I can't do it too much because of Jubilee. But, and there's the Carnage in Fudge. I need to basically not even try to win that zone. Carnage is that fracking powerful. Ooh, but I might be able to cheeky cheek this zone. Jube jubes, let's see what you got. Dang, that sucks. It was a four power ice man, but it's just have a low chance. I have like no chance of winning Carnage zone. It's a very low chance. He may be throwing away the middle here. But we'll see, because it's Jubilee May. Give him a run for his money. So probably jubileeing into magic. Oh, dang it, he's dang it. I think he's gonna frickin' eat those with venom. Oh but I got Magneto, yes! Very nice. He's snapping because he saw me get Magneto. Interesting play. What's making him want to snap? I'm actually gonna play Magic here because Giganto may actually end up here. See how deep your deck is. Yeah, he Venom. Very predictable. Oh, his Deadpool just went to 14 strength. No wonder he snapped. I'm hoping he doesn't play here. I still have a chance of beating him, which you can't tell. I had to put Professor X here. This is like the only chance I really have a huge lead of. Oh, that's also why he snapped, because he knew he countered that turn's play. Ah, I see. Good, he's wasting there. He put Deadpool there while wait, winning this. Winning this is nigh impossible now. This shows how broken those decks are. Can I steal any of his powers with Rogue? No, because Rogue's laughably weak. I can do a 4-7. Nah, I'm just not winning this. I'm just not winning this. This is insanity. Well, I, I'm gonna get one of the dailies in the middle, so that was really good, actually. Um, but yeah, I overpowered this zone, he over- I- he overpowered that zone. And he's just overpowered in general here. 
But yeah, why this is happening though, because he got the plus two bonus on Deadpool, like he got lucky. Like he doesn't even have to do anything and I lose. I unfortunately didn't get Gambit, who may have stood a chance of getting me the comeback, but because yeah, I'm um, Gambit over here into White Queen here. Could have theoretically got a win if Gambit killed one of these guys. Um, but Gambit could also try to shoot the squirrel that would do nothing. Wow, he's sure taking his dear sweet time. He's fully trying to figure out how I could have possibly won there. This... Yeah, his deck is just overpowered. Like, these cars are overpowered. Like, I, like, those sets, those decks entirely are overpowered. That was unfortunate that he actually pulled off his Deadpool super buffs. Yeah, there's just nothing I can do about that. For, yeah, until I get the Shadow King, which would have set all those guys back to their base strength, completely destroying that deck. But that's why, thank God, they added the Shadow King into this, because I do legitimately need him to make this deck better using mut mutants. Because I'm, like, 99% sure Shadow King is a mutant. Insanely ancient. One of the arch nemesis of Professor X. And I believe why Limbo was created at all is to, is to keep the Shadow King in there. Um, we still got some dailies though, so uh, let's keep going. Well, that's another reason why, because yeah, aren't I supposed to play Six Scots? Yeah, that was another reason why I could play um, Giando there. I'll skip the daily done. Some matches, some matches just aren't winnable. Oh wait, no, this is the zone. Oh yes, I gotta play the zone. This is the new zone for the event. Normally, I do not play the left zone, what are the but it's odds? actually not bad for the sake. So I need the four card wins, and a Giganto over here could easily get that. Emma into Giganto. Now, I might just want to Professor X it, too, although that's really risky. It's now officially turn three, and I may not have a play. Yeah, I don't have a play. Shoot. Full cards here to other random locations. Oh, that's interesting. He completely misplayed Mystique. Wait, what in the world was that play? Do I want to put Jubilee that? No, I feel like I... I feel like this zone isn't a threat now because I have Giganto. Yeah, I have Giganto. Dang, I need to get... Um... Oh, maybe this will bring down magic. I need to get magic to get both of them in the field. Dude, that's so laughably weak. I play that. Rogue, oh my goodness, worst possible spawn. Jubilee, well, it happens, little jubs. It happens, little jubs. Um, I, oh god. Um, no, I'm still probably gonna win that, even if it fills. Do I just play in here and just be like, screw it? Wait, who activates first? He does. Um. I guess, sure. I don't think I can really use Professor X this time. Oh, he magic! Good! Good, Anakin! Good! What do you got? He's got Iron Man! Well, now I have Iron Man. Damn, I knew that would fail. Fudge me! That was freaking bad. That was freaking bad. I have to play like a maniac now and play the zone with him. It's, it's the only victory I have. It worked! I am Iron Man. I don't think I can beat that power though he just put down there. He still wins this. He still easily wins this. But oh, actually, Gambit. Gambit could win this match, actually. If Gambit kills over on that side. I gambit in a Wolverine. He's my but wait, well no, he can't pull anyone. I won't be able to pull anyone. Nah, that wasn't good enough, Gambit. Nice try. 
Nice try. Oh wow, he anticipated that by using White Tiger there! No, I won! Because he played White Tiger on the left! <laughs> oh, hopefully you can hear that laugh. Sometimes it, I'm too loud and it cuts it. He played White Tiger on the left and made himself lose. This person was not thinking at all, and that's probably why they're in the zone. <laughs> Dude, he had no stronger card to put here to guarantee his victory? I won this zone with, like, the weakest setup possible. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. And I somehow didn't play any of the six costs, which is what the daily needed, but, like, I actually wanted to win that. Wow. Oh, I need to only need to play one more six cost card. Yeah, that was totally the right move. Although this 20 more power may be a bane in my back. Some days I get it, some days I don't. It really depends on who I'm fighting. I'll spare your puny planet, dude. He's got the freaking represent representing the uh the pigmentations. I don't think YouTube can uh, be mad at me for saying that. Of course he must be played. Oh, that's fine, I have magic. Oh god, the rocks. Right Luckily I have Domino who will always pop up. Do I wait? Do I wait with Iceman? No, no, Iceman now, because he should have the less chance least chance of having a rock in his deck. Also, waste the one mana oh Morbius deck. Ooh, that's a very cool Morbius. That's a very cool Morbius. On the upside... Oh no, I'm thinking Dracula. Morbius is just good. He has a discard deck. The fact is, him at all. Yeah, I do actually want the zone. That might help the daily. Sometimes this deck's off by just a few little things. A Swordmaster turn 5, yikes. He's going hard in that zone. Oh my goodness, these rocks. These fracking frickin' rocks. Oh god, I'm getting screwed by the rocks so hard. Yeah, he can just discard the rocks to power up his dudes. Oh, because his highest cost card is a rock, too. He's, he's even more screwed than me. Oh my word. He will pull Swordmaster and Seafover to wherever I put Magneto. That's not great. I think Magneto needs to be here then. No, swarms are too little. All systems go. This is not looking good for me. I still might get lucky with the Giganto pull. Oh good, Ghost Rod, I can't be used. He screwed up. Although maybe he wanted that. I'm winning that zone. I don't generally they can't buff. Oh my goodness gracious. I am so screwed. I still feel like snapping though. I think I bluff him, because I know he's got tons of rocks, too. I'm almost entirely rock, although this is going to be awesome. Gambit's going to charge a rock and throw it in his goddamn face. I'm really hoping Gambit hits the left side. Oh, no, I'll activate first. Frick, I'm activating first. That's not actually what I wanted. Wait, it was Venom meeting a rock. I win. I freaking win with three power there. Because <laughs> Venom had no way to power up. Yeah, it's victory. That was so bad case for both of us. He got it worse off, though. He got rocked to oblivion. I could somewhat avoid it because I had Domino in my deck, who always comes. She bypasses those rocks. She's a lucky girl. Dude, her power-up gave the win there. Shout out to freaking Domino and Sneaky Magneto. Dude, and the fact I got magic was the perfect card for that zone. If that was Professor Rex, it would have been serious trouble there. Yes, magic. He was not ready for those six, those six turns. Oh yeah, you earned your power up, girl. Three D. Heck yeah! What a woman. 
the queen. Actually, she's no, she's no girl or woman. She's the queen of limbo. That's what she actually is. Absolute beast. Sometimes you gotta put the game in limbo a little bit. Add in that extra turn. Oh yeah, that's almost done, of course. Oh yes, these are getting done. Oh good, this, the power is irrelevant here. Oh, that's very good. Yes, I got one of them done. Just need one more. Yes, Magnino. And uh, let's keep on going. Ooh, he's got a Sang Chi. He probably has a Sang Chi in his stack. Ah, oh, dang, that's a hard count. Did you can't out? It's so easy to guess where he's gonna go. Cars move one location to the right. Still rather playing to the unknown for, for that zone. Let's see here. Always lucky. Ooh, Cosmo! Yikes! Although, Magneto can use Cosmo to my advantage occasionally. Oh, Gambit can kill Cosmo. Oh, screw it. Gambit, kill Cosmo. Uh, do I need it, though? My final three, although he's blocking. Do I need to do this? Do I need to actually kill Cosmo? Has Cosmo ever made me lose? I don't think he has. Because I just work around him. But he is going to be moving them into them, but they will already have been revealed. Do I kill Cosmo? No, because Cosmo also stopped saying chi. I think I let Cosmo live. This is kind of crazy. This may cost me the whole game. I'm going to let Cosmo live. And four for turn three. Oh god. I'm getting terrible, terrible cards. I'm getting absolutely atrociously bad cards. I don't know if I'm winning this one. My only hope is magic now. Oh, he put Colossus down who can't move. What a cool Colossus. What a cool Colossus. Interesting, you snap with me winning. I am Iron Man. Interesting use of Iron Man. I have to risk his death chance. Yeah, I have to risk big news. Oh, he just retreated. Oh, does he think he misplayed Iron Man? He literally snaps me and then retreats. <laughs> like, does he think he misplayed Iron Man? Yeah, why is he using Cosmo in an Iron Man deck? He hurts himself. Okay, whatever. I can't believe I just saved that game somehow. He got even worse crap going on. I believe Iron Man would have still been two times in that zone. I don't think he actually misflayed. It looks like a misplay. But I believe Iron Man will still be two times in anyone who enters that zone. As far as I know. I could be wrong with that though. Because it does say on reveal. Um, he may have just been using Iron Man to get his final on reveal and then he just quit out because he finished it. For the daily. That was bizarre. But anyway, let's... Oh, I got something. Did you see? Oh, yes, it was juicy. So much more credits. Oh, that's very good. I think I already up upgraded these peeps. Yeah, I could upgrade Angela, but I'm going to hold off on that. Tons of people have strong Angela, so I don't really get to join that club. Although all cards are the same strength. It's just a color thing. Just show us their frequency of play or how much you like them. Turn six, you can move cars to this location. Okay, very nice. I can probably leave it completely empty then. Ooh, he's gonna play into it though with Sunspot. You play a card here, double its power. What are the odds? 
Okay, making no definitely wants to go there unless he removes it. He's playing into Sunspot. Can't play your first card here each turn. That was a very good get from me. Do I kill Sunspot with Gambit is the question, probably? Because he just puts so much value into Sunspot? Wait, I can just move Gambit later. Yeah, I can just... Oh, God. Gambit, bud. I think I killed Sunspot. Yes! Use Quicksilver! Oh, I got so lucky there. Oh, wait, maybe that wasn't great. If they're using that style deck... Um, her card that comes in, I don't think will be buffed, if I recall. I don't know if this is actually the proper play. Oh, wow. That was probably good for me. You will be seeing a Wolverine. Woo, scary stuff. Ha! <laughs> He will put a wave! Oh, how interesting! Yeah, good thing I killed Sunspot, because, like, that's why I had waves, so Sunspot's constantly buffing with the, uh, leftover mana. Oh, wait, actually? Oh no, I don't want to... wait. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, I think I'll leave Jubes here. Because I need to win 20 or more. Oh, it's in 20 or more, though. Because I... because magic came in. That's fine, though. Magic may very well give me the win here. Oh. I moved her anyway. Okay. I'll move wave over here, then. Ha! <laughs> That was not great, but... Actually, that was good for me, because I'm still winning here. Which he may play into. Whoa, do I play into? The right side to get the W? That's so ballsy risky. I can do it, though. I can put, like, Rogue here and play into there. I feel like it's better to pressure here. I'm a savage! He did play into here. Nice, I won though. He got one of his dailies done, but I won. Victory. All because of playing into the unknown, because that is so good. A lot of decks cannot deal with that. Oh wait, he waved, so then he couldn't do multiple summons into here. Yeah, a Morog is a hard counter to wave. The Morog zone. Because, yeah, there's no way to ever have 8 mana. Although, theoretically, maybe you could with Psylocke, turn 7, but, um... Generally, I mean, turn 6. But generally, you can't. Yeah, I didn't get 20 more power, but I beat that deck, which I was, uh... One I maybe shouldn't have, but yeah, that was epic, though. It was freaking Gambit killing his, sun his Sunspot. I think that wrecked his whole strategy. That was awesome. And it got super... Blessed to kill Quicksilver, not someone that I actually needed. Yeah, if Gambit kills anyone else, I'd probably lose that. Well, I might not have actually lost it, because then I just would have played harder into the other side. Um, in the middle, but... It may have gotten sh shaky there. I'm gonna wait, actually, just to see. I killed my Dalmo. Well, I guess it will be his answer, then. Yondu's, like, one of the only people who can kill Dalmo. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't hit my Wolverine, which came up right next. If he hit that, that would have summoned him. That would have been cool. Oh, whoever wins here gets 100 power. That's just really good. Oh, Angel, of course. Where's the Tunnel Spoon? Can't be played here. Ooh, there's not a whole lot for Jubilee to summon. Oh dang, Jubilee may screw me here. I feel like she's gonna bring down Professor X in the zone. 
I guess we'll see. Maybe I'll drop Professor X. That actually would not be terrible. Oh, maybe it wouldn't be bad, though. He's still put this zone very little. Yes, whoever has more cards. So here I should go into three cards to regain the zone. Yes! Iceman made Rokos more perfect. Was not going to use her anyway. Brought down Professor X. Yep. Man, I just knew she was going to do that. And I'm losing now. God dang it, Tubes. <laughs> Tubes! Dang it, I didn't get freaking... Oh, my word. I am fricked, dude. I am fricked so hard. Oh, he's Kazar. Oh, God. Well, I was going to win that anyway, probably. There's no one for Magneto to pull. I might as well just play this. And somehow hope I win? I don't think- I don't see winning as possible here. I'm not gonna snap. I'm not gonna snap. That's not an- oh no it is, that's why he buffs. Yeah, buff decks just wrecked this, that's why they had to come out with them. Wow, he's pretty 25. Two turns there. That's insane. Dang it. Hydra Goddess. It's frickin' Red Skull. Absolute piece of crap. Character. Well played by him, though. Well played. But yeah, I just got screwed. I knew Jubilee was gonna do that, too. I just had a feeling. That Jubilee was... Because she, she hadn't done it in so long. I just knew Jubilee was gonna do that. Unfortunately, he had just enough power... Because Angela's still probably overpowered. Almost everyone plays her. Um, to freaking... To win there. Dang, dude. Yep, it's time to do another video. Oh my goodness, I couldn't get it done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked what you saw. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, may your tail eternally be Rito. Later.